Okay, this is part two of adding fractions with different denominators. In the part one video, if you're interested in um, watching that, you will learn the reasoning behind all the different steps that you need to follow in order to um, add fractions with different denominators. It's very helpful because, um, you know, steps are easy to remember, but they're also easy to forget if we don't understand the reasoning behind them. So for this video, I'm not going to go over the reasoning anymore. This is just going to be practice on how to add fractions. So let's say, okay, um, the problem is 1 half plus 3 over 15. Now, step number one would be to make the denominators the same. So in order to do that, you have to find the LCD, okay? So let's find the LCD. The LCD is the LCM of the two denominators. Okay. And to do that, I'm going to count by twos and make a list of those multiples. Two, four, six, eight, ten, okay, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, and I can continue on until I get to thirty. Okay, and so on and so forth. For 15, I can start with 15, okay, 30, and so on. I don't need to continue because I can see that 30 is already their LCD. LCD is least common denominator, and that is simply the least common multiple of the two denominators. So this can be expressed as fractions with denominators of 30. Just remember that these fractions are fractions with the same size as 1 half, and the other one has the same size as 3 15. In other words, these new fractions are going to be equivalent to the two original fractions. Now, to go from a denominator of 2 to have a denominator of 30, you're going to have to come by 2 15 times, right? So that means you have to multiply 2 by 15. So we're going to multiply this by 15. Okay, but for the new fraction to be equivalent to this, we have to do the same thing to the numerator, so times 15. So we have 15 over 30. Okay, 15 30th is also equivalent to 1 half. They have the same size, although they look different. Okay, now 3 15th, in order for the denominator to be equal to 30, I have to multiply by 1, 2. For the new fraction to be equivalent to 3 15, I also have to multiply the numerator by 2. So I have 6 over 30. Once the denominator is the same, I can now add the numerators. So I have 15 plus 6, that's going to be equal to 21, and then copy the common denominator. So the common denominator is 30, so I'm just going to copy that. Like I said in the previous video, the reasoning why we just simply add the numerators and copy the denominator is because 15 30th means you have 15 pieces of 1 30th, and 6 30th means that you have six pieces of 1 30th. So you see if you have 15 pieces of a tile, a fraction, a unit fraction of this size, you have 15 of that. And then you add six more of that. Then how many of this unit fractions do you have? Well, you have 21 pieces of this unit fraction, which means you have 21 30th. This is the answer. Now, you may be asking, well, how do you simplify this, okay? So number four is to simplify. Simplify the fraction. So 21 over 30. To simplify the fraction, you have to think of a common factor that these two numbers have. So if I think about 21 and I think about 30, I can think about, well, what numbers can I multiply to get 21? 
I have a lot, 21 and 1, um, 7 and 3, okay? And then for 30, I have 30 and 1. I can multiply them to get 30. What else? 10 and 3. I can have 5 and 6, okay? Mom? But among all of these Mommy? factors, I see that 3 is common to both of them. So I can divide both of these by 3. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. Since I need to multiply 3 by 7 to get to 21, and 30 divided by 3 is 10, since 3 times 10 is 30. Okay? So this is now the simplest form. So, to summarize, 1 half plus 3 fifteenth is equal to 7 tenths. Thank you very much. I hope this helps.